Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving swiftly on. Our next contest of the evening is fought in the Fight UK middleweight division under 185 pounds. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Greg Summers. Here I am with Greg Summers. Uh, Greg is fighting in bout number four tonight in middleweight contest. Tonight is his mixed martial arts debut and he trains out of Iron Man Gym. Greg, how are you doing today, mate? Uh, very well, yeah. Excellent. Now, obviously, it's your debut on the promotion, yeah. so we can't really say we know too much about you. Um, tell me how your training's been going. Any special preparation? Um, no, no real special preparation. It's just my first fight, so just, just trying to do what I know and just get in there and enjoy it really. But that's the main thing. Yeah. Uh, obviously with it being an amateur fight, you know, you still can't afford to not really take it 100% seriously like uh, you, like you would, a, would a pro fight. Yeah. But still, you know, you want to come out with a win. Yeah. So, you know, you obviously you, you look very, very determined. Uh, do you know anything about your opponent at all? Or? No, nothing. No, I only took the fight on about 10 days notice anyway, so I, I'm, I'm not really too fussed about him. It's just more about me getting in there and enjoying it. Okay, so where would you prefer the fight to take place? Are you a stand-up guy? Um, or I'd, I'd prefer it to, to stand up, but if it goes to ground I'm com comfortable with my jiu-jitsu so excellent well everyone likes to see the big knockout don't they? <laughs> yeah, well let's yeah. hopefully we'll see some tonight yeah. Greg it's been a pleasure to meet you mate yeah. I wish you all the best for this evening and we'll look forward to seeing you okay. tonight in the cage thank you and his opponent entering into the red corner let's hear it for Rich Gray Okay, here I'm with Rich Gray. Uh, Rich trains out of tap or snap, and tonight he is making his debut, uh, not only uh, in MMA, but also on the Fight UK promotion. Uh, Rich, how are you doing today? I'm not bad, mate, thank you. Excellent. Now, obviously, it's your debut tonight, uh, but you train with a really good team there, tap or snap. We've had a lot of your guys on before, so I'm assuming they've put you through your paces before you've arrived yeah, tonight. Definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Have you made any special preparation? Do you know anything about your opponent? Yeah, no, not really. I've had a couple pull out, so it's just the third one now, so I just see what happens. All ah, right. Obviously, Amit has the time to get in there and, you know, do what you want to do before, you know, before you obviously start trying to, you know, you, you know, protect that professional record a little bit. Yeah. So I would assume we're going to see, you know, a bit of a balls to the wall style tonight, maybe? I'm hoping so, yeah. Definitely. Excellent. Any particular area you want to take the fight? Are you happy standing up or do you want to take him down? Either, either way, to be fair. I'm, I'm happy either way, so. Sign of a true mixed martial artist. Well, Rich, thanks very much for your time today. We we'll wish you the best of luck and we'll see you in the cage tonight. Thanks a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Worcester. He's 27 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 183 pounds. He fights for Iron Man MMA, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Greg Summers. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Nottingham. He's 34 years old, stands five feet nine inches tall, and weighed in at 185 pounds. He fights for tap or snap. And tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Rich Gray. This contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. So looking at middleweight action here. Fight UK, last man standing. We have Richard Gray coming out of the red corner with the white shorts on. Unfortunately, Ben, they're both wearing the same shorts. So I think the easiest way is to say that Gray is the man with the sleeves and tattoos. And Summers, the beard. And the beard, let's not forget the beard. And uh, Summers doesn't basically <laughs> and uh, Summers fighting out of Iron Man Gray fighting out of Tap or Snap local gym both guys making their debut as well It'll be very interesting to see how this one pans out nerves wise they certainly look like they're making their debut they, uh, they look very confident standing so we see uh, Summers there using good ring craft there cutting his man off nice double left hook jab there from uh, Gray okay, looking to use the kicks a little bit Gray looks very tidy with his boxing and so often we see this, we say these guys making the debut, but so often we see an MMA. Is it debut MMA or have any of them got any combat experience before? They might have kickboxing, boxing, judo, sambo. Nobody really knows it at this kind of level. And it's often a real kind of a, a real mixed bag with stuff like that. No, that's it. I mean, we can certainly see a striking pedigree here for both of them. Let's look. Summers is, what, 27? Gray's 34. So these, I, I doubt highly likely that these guys, this is their first combat sport they've ever done. Um, 
can see a bit more of a traditional boxing guard there from Summers. As he works that takedown, he's in. Gray goes for the guillotine. Gray looking the physically much more imposing figure. Summers doing well. Pushes his man up against the cage. Grinding him down a little bit. Throws a nice knee to the body. Controlling that arm. Corner calling for it again, and why not? Oh, what? Huge shot to the body that time. Beautiful knee, that was. Gray didn't lie that you could tell by the way you immediately closed the range. Yeah, he's like, right, I've had enough of that. Let's not sit here anymore. If he's going to knee, uh, knee me in the belly button, we're not going to do this anymore. He's back up. Focus, guard coming up nice and high whenever the shots are coming in from Summers. Uh, it's interesting, you see, when he comes in with this lead, he likes this double, le double left. Uh, so when Gray's coming in for this double left, Beautiful he's dropping catch. his right hand. But we go down on the mat. I noticed that as well on that double left, the right hand positioning really low, almost by his side. He's got to it be is, careful yeah. of the counter shot there. Wouldn't surprise me if Gray has a, a kicking art background there, because that is what we normally see. There it is again, look. And here's the takedown off the back of that from Summers, who looks certainly a bit more relaxed now. And he's carrying a couple of inches height on Gray. I think that's why Gray, like you said earlier, looks a bit more opposing. So he's on the outside a bit, but Gray's stalking him out. And there's that hand position Again. you talked about. Yeah, it's, it's a great spot. A nice takedown to finish the round. So I think when you're... When you're well versed like that with the stand up, we've got to look to the takedowns. And I mean, uh, Summers, Summers did get the takedowns in that round. There, look, it's starting to land there. He landed a left hook. You can see there, Summers did it. Didn't do any damage, but he did land that left hook that time. So it's interesting to see whether his corner picked up on that as well. And whether we're going to see this left hook utilised a bit more in this round. You can hear Summers' corner there, urging him, goading him on to be more aggressive. Come on, you're not being aggressive. Stayed in the yeah. pocket there and landed a nice shot. And I've got to agree with his corner there. He did look almost lackadaisical in that first round, didn't he, Ben? Very much so. I mean feeling out of process for both these guys in his debut and nice nice shots there and someone's corner screaming for him to come forward after he backed his man up yeah we've got to look at the ring craft as well summers is cutting his man off he's uh, he's working the ring very very well pushing uh, you know keeping gray on the outside of him making him do all the work as i say that he backs up towards the wall almost as though he's deliberately trying to make me look silly jab left hook now from gray and again, right hand down. There, look, Summers is in. As soon as those shots come in, big right hand. Oh, oh, Summers dropped his man. Nice short shot. Yeah, that was a bit of a lazy takedown from Summers there. And I think he, he, he lucked in a little bit there with, uh, with Gray taking a bit of a tumble on, on his back foot there. There, the jab's landing now. Did you see that, Ben? That was straight on the button there from Summers. I think he's finding his range. I think he's finding that reach. Very underutilized. Like I say, both guys making the debut. Only going to improve onwards and upwards from here. A nice straight there shot there from Summers. I think you're right, Lord. I think he really is finding his range a lot better. Don't get me wrong. Grace turned up to fight. He's coming in and pushing the pace. Nice leg kick there as I say that. Yeah, he's certainly no slouch. I mean, he's... He's coming on, to, he's walking onto his guy every single time. But I think uh, I think Summers, and this is part and parcel of the reason I think that he looks a little bit like today's goal, a little bit lazy almost, is he's he's comfortable there. That left that landed, that left that landed, that changes things. Oh, and that overhand right landed, right. yeah. Now that changes things because Summers cannot afford to take big shots like that. Gray coming in now. Shot opposite kick, he's opening him up now, his confidence is going through the roof, he's like, yeah, these are landing. Mixed it up nicely as well with the levels. Started up high, fixed up down low. Runs in for the double. Be careful of the neck, once again, right on the death. As in the round previous, smart strategy this. In a lot of respects for Summers. Close rounds and looking to finish each one with a takedown if he can, and that's the end of the round. Another close one. 
Great performance from both these guys. There's only one way to make sure that you know what the result of that fight's going to be, and that's to, to get your other guy out of there. That's it. I say this to my students all the time. Don't leave it to the judges. Yeah, look, that right hand again is coming right back there. I think he's bringing it back because he wants to land this right hand bomb. And don't get me wrong, if that lands, that is the end of the fight. <laughs> you know, I haven't been on the receiving end of a few right hand bombs myself. Nice chop and left from Gray there. Summers are looking to try and answer the leg kick. Once again, that does work that nicely throughout the evening. I mean, we've said the thing about the hand position, but the initial strikes, the, the, the techniques there, it's just a slight slight adjustment that he needs to make, and that'll turn into it. At this level, certainly a very deadly deadly technique if you can develop it a little bit more. It'd be really nice to see him go to the mat and work some real technical guard work now, wouldn't it? Oh, nice. Straight right there. From someone who's rocked his, head, rocked his man's head back a little bit. Flicks the jab out. It's that range we were talking about again there. He's opening up, but there, look. Gray bounced off the wall, landed a big right. And that's got him thinking. That's got Summers thinking. Yeah, we can see him bleeding from his nose now. I mean, you know, it's not the biggest injury in the world, but it can, it can boost your confidence, you know, when you see your man bleed. It certainly cheers you up a bit when you're in there. It's a lonely place being in there, Ben, you know. That's why I said outside. <laughs> <laughs> Stalking his man once again as Summers. But great to be fair, is working the counter game well. He's worked that combination specifically well these last couple of rounds. Go up high and then back with the outside leg kick. Mm, he is, yeah, utilising there. Beautiful takedown there from Summers. That's exactly what he needs. Nice single and surely needs to dive on top of his man and work from guard a little bit. He's got to follow it up. He's got to follow it up. Back up. We're really seeing Summers is uh, really suffering with the with the with the gas tank here. And so often we see it at this level. We talked about it in the earlier fights. Conditioning such an important part. The danger is that now I was just saying that there's no danger at all. He knows he needs more. I was just going to say the danger is that he knows you know, he thinks that takedown was enough and it. It might not be. He's got to get in there. He's got There's to finish big this fight. Staggers his man a little bit. There we go. Gray moving forward. And he can smell blood, literally. See it, smell it, taste it. He wants this. Found his range, backs up, lands those two shots. Nice high kick there from Summers. What a great performance from both guys. Amazing to think that both of these guys making the debut. A real testament to the scene here and to the promotion. It'll be very, very interesting to see what our judges make of this one. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, scoring the contest 29-28. 29-28 and 30-27 in favour of your winner from the red corner, Rich Gray. But let's hear it for a very gallant challenger. Let's hear it for Greg Summers.